Hey guys, and welcome to another Titan Tries. This time, uh, we're going to be taking a look at a game called Crow Country, which looks interesting. Um, I have seen a couple of the videos posted to my Discord, and from what I can understand, it is a new indie retro style survival horror game. And the art style struck me pretty quick. Um, I'm usually, I wouldn't say quick to dismiss these games, but I'm usually a bit cautious. But everybody is talking about this one. Everybody that's into the uh, survival horror genre um, is saying that this is actually really quite good. Now, I, I didn't even hit know anything about this game until you know uh, a few days back but let's have a look so let's find out a little bit more about the game so the game overview a survival horror game where you test yourself against puzzles and riddles as you investigate the eerie tranquility of the abandoned theme park don't be deceived by the whimsical surroundings something is awfully wrong with Crow County. Hmm. Okay. Explore the park. As you unlock new areas, backtrack and discover more, you gradually piece together why Edward really shut the, his park down and where he mysteriously disappeared to. You've heard some pretty disturbing rumours, but they couldn't possibly be true. Right? See the sights. For visitors to the park who are more interested in spotting crows and... I can hear Gabby shouting at the cats. Uh, <laughs> uh, spotting crows and taking in the sights. Exploration mode allows you to journey on without the fear of being attacked by the mysterious monsters roaming Crow County. Uh, is it Crow County or Crow Country? My eyesight is failing me. I'm, I'm plagued at the moment. I'm kind of squinting at my other monitor. Um, it's not COVID, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's not fun, whatever it is. If you knew, uh, if you knew what those monsters really are. So wait a minute. Is there some kind of mode that you can play, which is like a peaceful mode where you don't actually have the enemies um, to deal with? That's interesting. Um, if that is indeed what that means. Solve the mystery. Just how far would somebody go to follow their ambition? Are some sins too wicked for redemption? I'll be honest, I'm kind of on board with this, <laughs> this game already, just from reading this. It sounds interesting. Find answers. A tale of reckness, uh, reckless hubris and human greed. Now at the center of it all, you. Who are you really, Mara Forest? So I guess we are a character called Mara Forest who is exploring an old abandoned... Um, amusement park of some description so without any further waffling let's get into the game i'm very interested in the graphics so crow country demo so let's fire up the Xbox controller and get into it. So I've got new game. We've got load game. We have settings. I don't know why the cursor's still up on the screen. It's kind of annoying. Let's have a look at graphics. Uh, I guess full screen, yeah. Controls, sound. We've got speech, which is cool. Extra lives. Uh, we don't really need extra lives, do we? It's a survival horror game. What could possibly... Oh, here we go. So we've got survival horror. Danger may be lurking around every corner. Or you have exploration mode. You will not be attacked. Experience the game freely. How interesting. So they obviously really want to... Um, you know, they're pretty serious about telling a story, I guess. But... Where's the fun in that? I mean, hey, let's not go that far. Maybe some people do like these sort of chilled out um, 
horror games uh, where you just explore and the environment is the main attraction and the story. But we're going to go for survival horror. Danger may be lurking around every corner. Yes, please. Play this game mode. I. Now, I've never played this. I've never seen any videos of it. I've seen a few screenshots and that's it. Although I have seen people talking about it. 1990. Ooh. I like the graphics. If anyone asks, my name is Mara. Mara Forest. Special Agent Forest. Okay. That's me. Don't forget. Don't mess it up. All right. Hmm. So is that what the game looks like? Oh. This is unique. Okay, so we've got like really scratchy looking backgrounds. Yeah, it, it's like watching a really low resolution um, or badly encoded video on YouTube. So we can move the camera around with the right stick, which is interesting. I didn't know whether this was going to be static. Okay, so it's sort of you have little gameplay boxes, I guess. We have our car. You know what this is reminding me of graphically? It's reminding... So that's how we aim. Oh! It's like full 3D aiming, but we have no bullets, apparently. It's reminding me of Final Fantasy VII. That sort of visual style. Just a lot fuzzier and more out of focus. Something... Oh, hello. Something is watching us. There's blood on the ground. What happened here? I don't know, Miss Forrest, but I guess we're going to find out. Hopefully we can find some bullets. Can we... Oh, hello. I like that. Trusty handgun. Simple and effective. I guess so. And an ID card. Police ID. Mara Forrest. Date of birth. January 12th, 1965. Firearms expert. So this game is apparently around about five to six hours long. It's chained up. That padlock looks a little rusty. It would break. It would probably break with enough force. I better open up the trunk of my car. Okay. So can... I'm not seeing any... Ah, we can run. What button is that? That is the B button. Okay. There is something important stored here. Open it. It's my box of handgun ammo. Should I stock up? Yes. Oh, so... So, is there a limit of how much handgun ammo we can take? Interesting. So, how does this work? Right, so we've got to actually load. How do we fire? Right, so the fire button is B. That felt very nice. What is this? It's my police file. Missing persons report. Atlanta Police Department. Lakewood Way, blah, 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 blah. Name, Edward Crow. Occupation, company owner. Landowner, health condition, unknown. Last seen by Mr. Tolman, 42 male. Last known whereabouts. Crow Country Estate. There he is. Definitely a sinister looking guy. Reported by Natalie Crow, 27 female. Relation to missing daughter. So he's 42 and he's got a 27 year old daughter. I mean, okay. Reported to Officer Detective Harrison James. Right, so that's that. Can we do anything with the car? I'll leave it here. 
driving it in any further could be dangerous. All right, let's go grab some more bullets because we've used one. Okay. So how much? Okay, so we now have eight spare. So we only take. We can only take one spare magazine. I wouldn't say that's enough, personally. But what do I know? Ooh. You know, it's interesting because everywhere looks so detailed. I have no intention of buying a ticket. We don't need to buy a ticket. We've got a gun. This is all very creepy. It's a page from a magazine. You can rotate. Yes. Also, the camera will quickly face towards when you press RB to use your weapon. Okay, that's... Oh, got ya. That's cool. Megabyte magazine. You can hold down B or RT to run. Yep. The advantage of using RT is that it frees you up to use... Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. So they've thought about that. It's a trash can. It's full of trash. Let's reach in. Ooh, found a medkit. We found a medkit in the trash. Wonder if we can search all the. Oh, we can. I guess we can search all the trash cans. And another medkit. All right. What do we have here? I don't know, but it doesn't appear to do anything. We can't search it. It's a door. You know what? I think we will read these tooltips. When shooting, your bullets will do more damage if you're closer to the enemy. Okay. I always remember that was a bit of a myth in the original Resident Evils. Like, if you're closer to enemies with a handgun, it does more damage. Now, I don't know if that's 100% true, but I'm pretty sure it's debunked. So attempting to shoot enemies from far away will use up your ammo supplies more quickly. Gotcha. Well. Ooh. What is it? Some kind of dead animal. I can't make out any features. We have an explosive barrel there as well. Oh, that's the toilet. Let's go poke around the lavatory. There's bullets. Right, so we can take more than the eight rounds. My hands are already dry. Automatic hand dryer. Is there anything in the toilets? Oh, we can. I don't need to go right now, thankfully. <laughs> Fair. There's something in there, but I can't get at it. It's blocked by a pile of old Bones. Ooh. Ah. Uh, so I guess we need something to get rid of the pile of old bones. Beyond Magazine, August 1987. Strange sightings at abandoned theme park. Aspiring paranormal photographer Arthur Mole sent a Polaroid. He took a while exploring the abandoned amusement park Crow Country. Could this thing possibly be real, or is it just another hoax? Here at Beyond Magazine, we're not convinced. Try a little harder the next time, Arthur. Alright, kind of looks like a zo- Ooh. I can hear something. Something's blocking it. Hmm. I don't know the point worrying about it. Vending machines and trash cans may provide you with supplies if you're running low. You can also get handgun ammo from the trunk of your car. So I guess we can always go back to that. Doesn't look like anybody's cleaned it in a while. Seems so convenient. Is this the men's bathroom? Well, it certainly seems that way. You need to be careful throwing around. Ooh. Pronouns. It's a pocket light. Looks like somebody dropped it. Oh, we'll certainly have that. So we can push... A oh, look at that as well. Oh, this is cool. 
All right. Anything that we can do with the drain doesn't look like it. All right, well, I guess there's nothing we can do there, but we do need to go and find something to remove the bones with. And I'm kind of confused that that doesn't do anything. We search the backpack. UFO tour 1988. It's empty. Did somebody lose it? Possibly. And that's just the dead animal that we've seen before. It's locked. There's a bronze keyhole. I guess we need a bronze key. It's locked from the other side. Do we have a map? I'm not sure. And there is a giant crow. A laser sight for a handgun. Who left this lying around? Well, we're going to take it. Now, is that actually... That is already attached. Oh, that's so cool. It's a big crow. Hello, Mr. Crow. I'm looking for your boss. Do you know where he is? Wouldn't it be cool if, like, the crow answered back? Oof. That looks like a bear trap. We don't want anything to do with the bear trap. There's something wrong with the ventilator in the fairy ponds area. We think something might have crawled into the pipe and died. Don't run the ventilator, and if you do, hold your breath. Seriously. Fair. It's locked. There's a silver keyhole. Okay, so we need some keys. Fine, I admit it. I dropped the bronze key into the fairy ponds. It was an accident. We couldn't be such... It wouldn't be such a problem if we'd made a spare. Well, you're not wrong, to be fair. You can quickly defeat enemies by exploding red barrels. Similarly useful are the blue electrical generators found oh on some walls so we need change we found an antidote eh so we can kick these things so is there like a chance of getting something from it interesting I don't know Got a large medikit. Well, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I am really, really enjoying this. It's a fortune telling machine. There's nobody I can call. You're fucked. You have 10 credits remaining. Would you like to hear your fortune? Uh, I guess this is just going to tell us if we're stuck or something. There's a hole for something to be inserted. The music is rather enchanting. What's that? A box of shotgun shells? Don't mind if I do. I already searched it. Alright, well, let's keep going. Humanoid enemies will take more damage if you get a headshot. A headshot also has a chance of decapitating some enemies. Well, okay. Yeah, I am so on board with this so far. Fairy tale town. Wait, do we have a map? Uh, maybe, but we don't have one yet. I don't know if we can shoot barrels and things. So, that looks like a, yeah, I was going to say, it looks like a medikit. Excellent. Certainly have you stuff you into our back pocket. I, you know. You can destroy these. Okay, curious. And I suppose it's probably worth it. Considering... Oh, there's nothing in that one. It's probably worth it considering uh, we can go back and get ammo. 2106. I think it's written in blood. Is it a code for something? Maybe. 2106. Is this a real door? Let's have a little look. I think it's locked, but there's no keyhole. What about a little post box? Let's have a look. There's a bronze keyhole. Yeah, so we need the bronze key for that too. Interesting. Hang on. 
So if we push Y, we automatically back up. That's interesting. More bullets. Certainly have those. Wish we knew we could open those up before. What about these? Oh, there's a lot of shootable things. <laughs> Antidote. Is there a limit of how many things we can pick up? That's the question. Oops. Uh, A to reload. Oh, this has such a Final Fantasy kind of feel. Early Final Fantasy. If you get poisoned, you can use an antidote as soon as you can. Large med kits also contain antidotes, but you might wish to use them sparingly. Okay. So we have options. Fairy. It's a wooden carving of a woman. She's facing the other way. It's a shame we don't have some kind of melee weapon. I guess we... I guess we can't um, ever find anything. Oh, it's a Polaroid camera. I think it's broken. Well, that looks ominous. Giant mushroom. He doesn't look very happy. Is it a door? I can't see a way to open it. Well, I'm sure we can find that out later on. Anyway, it looks like there's a gentleman that's fallen over here. Sir, what happened here? What? Who? My name is Mara Forrest. I'm here to help. They attacked me. All I wanted was proof. What's your name? Arthur. Oh, that's Arthur Mole. I just needed a better, a clearer photo. A photo of what? Who attacked you, Arthur? Those things. I, I don't know. Those people. They saw me and... All right. Stay calm. You're bleeding quite badly. I should help him. What did you say your name was? Mara. Come on. I think we should take a look at your leg. Uh, we'll give him a healing item. Give him a med kit. Thanks. I still feel kind of bad. Come on, let's move you somewhere safe. You don't look too heavy. Uh, we can move him, but move him where? Oh, I guess we've stuffed him into our car. I moved Arthur to my car. He'll be safe there, for now. Alright. Well, that's all fine and dandy. I don't want to walk into those traps. There's a set of stairs. Let's go in here. See what we can't find. Ooh. What's all this about? The Atlanta Globe. May 1986. Good year. Good year. Crow Country theme park. Opening soon. Cancel your weekend plans with plans with the in-laws and grab your sunglasses. A brand new theme park is opening just a few miles south of Atlanta. Explore Fairy Tale Town, Haunted Hilltop, and Ocean Kingdom at Crow Country, which promises a f day full of fun and adventure for the whole family. The park is owned by one Mr. Edward Crow, a lifelong Atlanta local landowner. Yes, that's right. It appears he named the park after himself. Not much is known about Mr. Crow, other than vague, unsubst unsubstantiated reports that he is exceptionally wealthy. Nonetheless, we look forward to seeing what Mr. Crow, uh, what Crow Country has to offer when it opens its gates this summer. Okay. If a swan breaks down, just take the egg out of its wheel system. Doing so disables the radio signal and locks the wheel until you can get a mechanic out to fix it. Alright. The swan breaks down. Take the egg out. Oh, it's been broken. I wouldn't know how to repair it. So the eggs are going missing. I think the kids are stealing them. Luckily, it turns out you can use anything as long as it's about the right size and shape. It's weird. I assumed that the eggs were magnetic or something, but apparently not. Good to know. Pretty sure it's broken. 
so. It doesn't turn. So we need to find some kind of egg. There's a strange mechanical swan head. Do I need to put something in its mouth? We do, but we don't have anything yet. So let's go back out for now. Let's go see if we can't discover something. I'm guessing we need to find something to get the bones. That's where we found our friend Arthur. There's a note on the floor. Tree lady. 3184. It's a big door to the theatre. Oh, there's another big med pack. Take it. I wonder if it matters. Like, if we give him a big med cat. Uh, med pack? Will that make anything different? Read the staff memos posted on the walls around Crow Country. In every save room, there is a book containing all the staff memos you've read so far. Interesting. An old cigarette machine. I'm not allowed to smoke. Is that because you're a kid, or... Or why? Just trash. Apple core. Is that trash, or is it roughly the same size and shape? Oh, shit. As an egg. I mean, we can certainly go and see. I guess not, because it's not in our inventory. So I wonder what we do with trash, then. It's probably got some kind of, like, ulterior purpose. All right, so we haven't found anywhere where we need to use a code. Let's take a look in the theatre. Or well, maybe not. So we can go through... Here. I'm guessing there's going to be a save room because it has mentioned one. Oh. Oh, we can hear... Ah! I Oh, they move. How interesting. Right. Oh man. So the combat. Wait, he's not dead. Okay. That's interesting. Fragile. So without a head, oh no, he's got a head. Yeah, the aiming is kind of finicky. Is he dead? I guess he's dead. The other guy is kind of like spinning around. Right, let's reload. We're also injured, which is not fantastic. Let's use a standard med kit. There we go. We're okay. I'm guessing okay means we're pretty good health. So we've seen the enemies. They're kind of weird. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to, I think. Can I ask why the dig site access... Can I ask why the dig site access is that cute little house? Oh! Oh! Don't you think there's a chance that some kid would want to go looking in there? At the very least, let's keep it locked via the keyhole on the mailbox. Alright. So what do we have here? Ooh. This is curious. I'm guessing... I'm guessing this is a save room. Remember to get into the fairy pond area. Say this out loud to the fairy. Hear me, O oh great fairy of the forest. It's pretty sensitive, so don't worry if you have an accent. Sorry, Diego. Couldn't hurt to try. It's a collection of video game tips. Oh, so that's like all of the tips there. Antidote. All that glitters, a history of the 1848 gold rush. Stephen E. Cook. It's a letter. 
State Court, 18... Five. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Uh, dear Mr. Crow, I'm writing to you in relation to the incident in which occurred in your theme park in July of 1988. As you know, a 15-year-old girl by the name of Elaine Marshall was injured. The incident occurred within your premises and within working hours. As such, the Marshall family is holding you personally responsible. Your presence is required in court. We expect to hear from you immediately. Oh. That's not good. I'm surprised this whole place hasn't burned down. Oh, there's a nice fire burning away. A ring. Ah, so that's the staff memos. So this is indeed a save room. There's a keypad down here. Let's try two, one. Ah, what was it? God damn it, I forgot. Tolman's Records, March 21st, 1988. Monday morning, driving to work. Boss calls in to my car radio. He doesn't normally do that. Something has obviously gone wrong. Intruder alarm going off in the second unit. Boss thinks someone is down there. Get to work. Check the security cameras. Someone is down there. He's standing right by the pool. All security doors down. To the pool are locked. Check security records. Doors untouched since 6 p.m. on Friday. An alarm has only just been triggered. I turn on the intercom, try to communicate, no response. But I can hear the sound he's making. Something is wrong. His clothes don't fit him. Something is very wrong. I see. Wait for it. Nothing. So I'm not sure if you just get something for free or how that works. If you're using, yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we can use the D-pad to move. Curious. Right, let's go get those codes. Oh, medkit. Certainly have that. I'm guessing the couch is how we save the game. Right, let's, did we read that one? Ah, the fire marshal was here this morning. He said the following rooms are due for inspection. Crow's Lounge, Model Railway, Utility Corridor, Submarine, Submarine, eh? Crow's Office, Wednesday, Crow's Lab. She also said we need to replace the Ocean Kingdom storeroom door. Curious. Oh, Interesting. We've got, like, weird spiders. Oh, we've got zombies, we've got griblies, we've got all sorts out here now. So, 2106. What are these? Some very interesting enemies. Not just your standard affair. So, we've got 2106. What else have we got? Yeah, the aiming is definitely a little bit funny. Right, that's the tree lady. Let me write these down. Alright, let's go and see if we can't do something with these codes. Don't know what they're going to give us. And it looks like these enemies are kind of trivial to avoid as well. So maybe that's worth noting. Alright. So. Let's try. We've got a keypad. Let's try 21. Oh, there's no zero. Oh. Alright. Let's try 31. 84. Nope, that isn't one of them. So there's no zero on that keypad. That's interesting. And we can destroy that. It's a grenade. What? What? We have a freaking grenade. Sit in it. Let's sit in the couch. It's comfortable. But I don't like sitting in it. All right. It's kind of interesting. It depends where you 
um, actually click on the item depending on where you sit. It's a fireplace. The fire is crackling softly. Staring into the flames, I feel something. It's a curious mixture of hope and dread. Maybe everything will be okay. And maybe it won't. Ah, so it's the fireplace that we actually save. Well, uh, I'm actually going to leave this game here, guys. And I'm going to go and buy it on Steam. Because this is feeling like it's going to be something special. It definitely feels like a throwback to uh, simpler times. And the visual style is really really nice I'm enjoying it and it's really smooth as well the environments are very well detailed everything looks fun and interesting to explore and it pays to have a sharp eye as well because it looks like there's going to be a lot of items that are hidden around the environment and the music is rather enchanting as well it really does fit the uh, <laughs> kind of theme park theme obviously but it has that curious sense of dread and foreboding as well i'm liking this i'm getting a little bit of um uh what was it five nights at freddy's sort of vibe from the enemies but that's i guess to be expected for what it is you know it's a similar sort of art style and well you know theme park monsters and theme park rides and such so that's to be expected but hey i'm very happy with this like i said so happy with it i'm gonna go and buy it now um i don't want to play anymore i just want to get the full game so let me know what you guys think are you on board with this are you not sold uh I'm, I'm like it and, and the amount of positivity around this game as well is off the charts it kind of looks like, I'd say visually, it looks like a PlayStation, an early PlayStation 1 FMV cutscene, but you're playing it. That's the best way I can describe, because you've got all the artifacting, you've got the um, the noise, the, the low bitrate, the fuzziness from those cutscenes, and you've got that plasticky, dull look, low res look to everything. And it's just reminding me of not necessarily graphics from a PlayStation 1 for the actual games. It's, it's too nice for that. But it does look like a PlayStation 1 cinematic. Or even a Dreamcast cinematic. Blue Stinger comes to mind. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.